Howdy, the Fritz423 here. I made a video not too long ago about how to replace the impeller in a 2002 Mercury 90 horsepower. But you know what? I forgot part number 42 on the schematic. It's a face seal, also known as a slinger seal. And uh, it probably doesn't matter. My mechanic didn't put mine on uh, after he changed my water pump. But you know what? It's the way it's supposed to be, so here you go. This is how you do it. This is the face pump seal. It's part number 42 under the gear housing schematic in the manual. If you buy an impeller kit, it comes with this insertion tool. You basically put the rubber face seal over the drive shaft and then use this tool to shove it down all the way. And that gives you the proper spacing above the pump housing. I don't know how important this thing is. I looked online. There's a lot of folks that don't even bother putting it on there. And like I said, my mechanic, when he replaced my, my impeller the last time, he didn't put it on there. But here it is. According to the manual, you're supposed to put a bead of this high temp RTV behind the water pump housing. There's a little lip there. You're supposed to put a, a bead there. It apparently keeps the exhaust gases uh, from pushing into the water pump or something. If you didn't watch the other video, they recommend that you put the uh, gear shifter into forward before you take the lower unit off. And that way uh, everything lines up nicely. And if, it, if the splines get caught, if you can't get it all the way up there, you can just kind of ratchet the propeller just a little bit and it'll, it'll slip in. Anyhow, there's not much more to it. You just uh, attach it as normal. Anyways, thank you for watching. The Fritz 423 out.